St Paul's has been successfully running nurseries since 1970 and we take pride in working to ensure children get the best possible start in life. Children are happy and demonstrate high levels of involvement in their learning. Children are settled and have a strong sense of belonging. Staff work closely with parents and relevant professionals to meet all children's needs. These are some of the statements made by Ofsted inspectors in relation to the three nurseries ran by St Paul's Community Development Trust in 2017. So why choose one of the three nurseries that St Paul's manages? Well, in this short film, parents who have made the positive decision to place their child in our care tell us why they have made that choice. I chose it because of how welcoming and how happy the kids are. And I've also noticed how my son was confident when he started school and he was ready for it, and with my daughter as well. So that's why I chose St Paul's Nursery. The staff team are amazing. Whenever I've got an issue, I can go to any of them. Any single one of them will be able to help me out. They're always friendly, they're always smiling, and my way loves them all. She comes home and tells me that she loves all of her teachers, and that makes me extremely happy. They always give you feedback on um, what's going on during the day with your child when you come to collect them, which I find very helpful because you will know that if they're eating or they've been moody or what's been going on during the day. Every so often we have a review of the things that she's learning, and it's lovely to know that she's progressing in things such as numbers, letters, reading, singing, and yeah, that makes me feel comfortable as a, as a parent. I, I do like the nursery environment because um, I've seen over the years they've do, done some improvement in the rooms and in the play area. So it's very nice and welcoming and the kids um, seem to enjoy playing around with um, exploring the different stuff around the nursery. She loves it at St Paul's Nursery. I love that she loves St Paul's Nursery. I, I don't live in the area. I live in Castle Bromwich, um, which is quite far from here. It's about half an hour's drive. But we had so many good recommendations of St Paul's Nursery that I decided I wanted her to go somewhere where I knew she'd be happy. And she is. Well, I've always been impressed by what I see to be the knowledge of all of the staff for all of the children. Um, they just know what it is the children need. My daughter's got epilepsy um, and she was a very shy and timid girl when she came in. Um, but the staff really, really met her requirements. Um, she's just been very, very happy here. Uh, they can deal with any number of children that are there and they're coping with each one at their own level. She likes all the staff, she gets on with all the staff, but she's got a key worker which has really helped her. Um, she enjoys, you know, the relationship with the teachers. She, there's no pressure in learning things, it's always been a playful um, environment and uh, she just loves coming in. Warm. I had no concerns at all leaving my child here. None at all. I, I think her worry was at the time was that the whole nursery thing's very um, confusing because Maya was our first child and we never knew anything. But then we came here and it was all explained how it all works and everything. Yeah. And yeah, we just thought, wow, this is yeah, perfect. My son, he's, he has done very well from what he used to be and now he's more social and he's a very, very good child right now. Um, I had a look at the Ofsted reports, they're like really good and I've heard a lot of good stuff about it in the local community as well. The parents were always mm. welcome to come in and spend yeah. their time yeah. in the nursery if they wanted mm. to, which is really nice. I find that a lot of bigger nurseries don't want you around. Always looking forward to come to the nursery to meet other children as well, to play with them and to interact with them as well. And it has made him more social, yes, more social, meeting other children. And I find that the nursery teachers had a very personal relationship with the children because the groups were so small that they actually had an opportunity to get to know your child properly. Just the staff are really, really like good with the parents and the children and I just wouldn't, wouldn't have sent my children anywhere else. And in future, hopefully, if I have any more kids, I know I'm going to send them here. St Paul's has a number of unique facilities that help support positive child development. Here, children learn about animals, they have the opportunity to feed them, learn their different names and learn about where they would normally live. Oh, 
We offer a holistic approach to all areas of the early years curriculum and staff are trained to ensure we respond to the individual needs and interests of the children. We take children shopping to buy and then cook food, to local parks to learn about play, the nature centre and a whole lot more to ensure children develop in a happy, enjoyable learning environment. We aim to provide nurseries that are a safe environment, an environment where children learn, where children learn to play, where ch and where children, most importantly, by the age of going to school, are ready for school. So we focus on things like language, we focus on appropriate behaviour, we are focused on respect, but most of all, it's about a safe environment for children. We hope this film encouraging you as parents to come and see us to talk to us about our nursery services and to place your children in the safe hands of St Paul's. Thank you for watching.